third-year student at Milwaukee Area Technical College in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm also a fellow for RISE and I'm a fellow for the African American Roundtable in Milwaukee. Um, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And education, like so many other essential life tools, are not available to those who cannot afford to pay the price. As a high school senior, when I was deciding which college I would attend, I couldn't think about which schools had the best sports teams or which organizations and clubs I would be a part of. My main focus was how are we going to pay for this? According to the Education Data Initiative, black students owe an average of 25,000 more in loan debt. And coming from families where you have to choose who gets to go to college, settle for college debt years after graduation, or simply settle for a less expensive college, we have been denied the equal opportunity for education that our ancestors diligently fought for. Things like Funding for historically black universities and minority service institutions were taken out of the bill back oh. then. Which is ironic because black people were a foundational element in the success of this president and yes. his vice president. Yes. Uh, HBCUs are not just colleges, they're experiences. HBCUs are safe havens for black students to learn their history and culture. Proper funding for housing and curriculum are imperative to their success. Yes. But when we speak about education, it's not just higher education. Universal pre-K is essential for our youth in districts affected by concentrated poverty. Our children are the future of this country, and for the most part, we can agree that education is the key to success. To divest from their education would be a dire mistake. The Build Back Better plan is not the solution, but it's a very important step. A step that would give the 140 million poor and low-income families in this country more access to education, health care, and affordable medicine, amongst other things. Without an opportunity to better ourselves, none of us would be here today. And even if you can't relate to not being able to afford college or medication, you can relate to the yearning for a better future. I am the price for cutting free community college from the Build Back Better. My children and your children are the price of cutting universal pre-K. You say it. Yes. Yes, Pam. Way to go, Pam.